Zombie Apocalypse. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. This is Six Scale Economist. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Hot Toys War Machine uh, from Endgame. Um, and this is not like the Iron Patriot one. This is like the other one. And, you know, we've seen some new images for this figure, so I thought it was interesting to have to talk about this one. Yet another figure, you know, um, with seeing like final images, you know, of an Endgame figure. Uh, so I think this one is interesting. So as always, we're going to talk about this one first from an investment perspective, from a collector perspective, and then we're going to talk about it from an investment perspective. So jumping in it from a collector perspective. I don't love it. I don't, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say it. I don't really like this iron. I don't really like this war machine. Um, I think that we have like a, you know, a good optionality for like the different war machines that we can get. And like, I get it. If you are like into like the thin looking war machine and kind of like the sleek, sleek look, then like this is probably like a good war machine to like pick up. But for me, um, when I think of like the war machine, I think of like some super armored out, like massive like figure. And um, I, uh, I don't really like like the, the thin look for this one. Um, I think it looks like a little bit dull. I think it looks like a little bit too much like Iron Man. Um, obviously, it was like, like very cool like in the movie, but um, I think they have like a lot of better options for War Machine. Um, and I don't, I'm not going to be picking up this one. Um, you know, obviously, like the you know the portrait of Rhodey is like fantastic. Um, the armor, like you know, it looks cool. Um, like love the color scheme. It's just a little too thin and just a little bit kind of meh for me. Um, you know, you get, it has like one gun on it. Like it doesn't, it's, it doesn't really give me like the representation that I think of when I think of like having a war machine. Um, it's just kind of simple and not like super like warred out. Um, and just a little like basic and obviously like, the price tag is like great, but, um, you know, given that you are getting still like a die cast figure, but, um, it just doesn't come with that much. And it's, I just think that you could have like a, you know, cooler looking Iron Man war machines in your collection. Now, don't get me wrong. I do. Um, I feel for the slim look and I know that it appeals to a lot of people then that usually appeals to me um, Like just taking a look at, like my mark seven like I like how he's like super, you know armored up and like that's how I would want my war machines to look um, I think that the war machine from like infinity war is like a great option. Um, I uh, You know, it's it's more expensive obviously, but it's been like been like free shipping like kind of sitting for a while like I, ha I think this figure has its issues from an investment perspective, but from a collector perspective, like I kind of like this war machine. Um, you know, like super weaponed out. Uh, that's more of like the look that I would think I would want for a war machine. I don't have this war machine. Um, like if I was to pick one up, it would probably be, you know, like one, maybe this one or put more likely the probably the Iron Patriot, which I'll talk about in a future video. Um, but like I like the more, you know, suited up look for. Uh, you know for for war machine you know like we got some like new photos of the figure you know on on the uh hot toys facebook page and like it's cool it's it's sleek um i'm a little i'm just i don't know i just i just don't know if i i, I wish he came with more guns i would be okay with the slim look like this one is is like very bulky, but I think it looks really cool, and I probably I still prefer this one. But like I like the slim look, and I I like the armor color on this one a lot more. Um, I like how it's more like curvy as opposed to this one, which is more boxy. But like you see all these like sick weapons that you get with this figure, like that's what you I feel like that's what you want with your war machine. This one just kind of leaves like kind of desiring more. Um, I think you know like obviously they have to be screen accurate, so they couldn't just give him like a ton of guns. Or like I wouldn't have minded it. Um, because I think I do like the armor color on this one more, and I like the face, the, the like the face on on you know on the ending game one more. But it just doesn't have enough guns to be like the war machine one for me. Um, I'm still I don't know which which uh, war machine I'm going to pick up. I think I'm going to pick up one of them. I was kind of hoping that this one is you know I was going to like that one more in the final images. Obviously, I don't really know what what I was really like looking for because like it's basically what we saw in like the original photos. Um, but. Uh, it just leaves a little bit you just i think it's just like a little bit more desired from what i want from this one and i think that like if i pick up one war machine i'm probably going to pick up the iron patriot one which i'll talk about in a future video but that one is badass that one is massive uh, obviously way more expensive but you know it is what it is and then like sw swapping over into like talking about this figure from like an investment perspective like i don't think this figure is going to do well on the secondary market um you have so many uh, war machines that you can pick up and like 
look at this one. Like this one has been in stock, you know, for like a hundred years. Like this one is like still in stock. It's been free shipping forever. Um, and it's still like, you know, not really selling that well. A lot of Infinity War figures are not selling well, like Thanos or, you know, Mark 50 or this War Machine. Um, you know, so like Infinity War kind of have, has its own issues, issues in the secondary market. But like, if this figure is going to sit for that long, um, I think it makes it tough for, you know, this like more simplistic one to do that well in the secondary market. I think it's like, it's probably going to do like, okay. Um, and like, obviously this one is like significantly more expensive than, uh, you know, you're, you're paying for this figure. But if this figure can sit in stock on SciShow for this long with free shipping, and we have like this war machine coming out and we have the iron patriot war machine coming out like you have a lot of options for this figure so there's a lot of supply for this figure and i just don't foresee this one doing that well um in the secondary market um i i would imagine this is a figure that's probably going to stick at retail once it's, it sells out whenever whenever it does um who knows how much they're going to be supplying this figure given how much they supply the infinity war figures and this is like such a you know a trademark movie um i don't think this figure is going to do well in the secondary market um it's so like overall like i respect the figure and like you know i'm happy that you know obviously they're you know, releasing all these end game figures but i think this one is pretty easy pass for me from both the collection and investment perspective and like i think the more important one to focus on is going to be the iron patriot um which i will talk about in a future video but um that one is the one that i think is going to be the most interesting figure um to look into um but as always this is only my opinions you know feel free to let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about the slim look do you guys like the slim look um you know for war machine like uh, do you like that it's kind of, you know, just like simplistic by nature as opposed to being like the all full, fully weaponed out war machine? Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Um, you know, but that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, thank you for tuning in. This is Six Scale Economist, and we'll see you in the next video.